Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Science rules. Bill Nye the Science Guy. So when am I going to get my damn coffee? Somebody. I need my coffee here in at least 30 seconds. Stat. Oh, we're live. We're live. Welcome to Channel 13 News at 7. This is your host, Mr. Darren Collins, alongside no one. Let's start off with our sports. This has been a historic year in Chicago sports. The Cubs won their first World Series in 108 years, disproving the curse of the GOAT. The Bulls are five games over 500 with hometown hero D. Wade shooting the three ball at a 39% clip. He's reinventing himself out here. And the Bears have turned their season around. After a 2-7 and seven start, they have now clinched a playoff berth and are... Hold on. We have breaking news. Hurricane Mitchell on the East Coast has affected New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. The storm has caused a blackout from New York to Ohio, with more than 30 million U.S. citizens left without power. Comed crews have been working overtime to restore power to this part of the country. President Trump has also declared the natural disaster a federal emergency. But one student, surprisingly enough, at Kenwood Academy in Chicago, claims to have a solution. We are going to go to a live news feed with this student, one Mr. Destin Baltimore. Hello, Destin, you there? Destin, can you hear me? Are you there? Hey, Mr. Collins, what's good? We are going to be on TV, right, Mr. Collins? Like actual TV? Yes, yes, we are on TV, I guess. Um, Channel 13. Destin, what do you believe is the solution for this mass blackout that has impacted millions? What's my plan? So me, myself, personally, my plan is to transform the 300,000 miles of transmission lines that lead from power plants to people's homes. Well, Mr. Baltimore, how do you suggest that we do that? How do we transform the 300,000 miles of transmission lines that compose the current power grid? How am I going to do Well, I'm not going to do anything. But my suggestion, I suggest that the first thing we do is retrofit those transmission lines that transport electricity to people's homes from those power plants by using energy efficient and environmentally friendly technologies. I also think that we need to diversify our power sources so that we're not relying on just one energy source. I think that's really important. So take two minutes class and grade Mr. Collins's example um, of a news broadcast representing the smart grid. Use this example or this model to help you as you create your own um, smart grid commercials, TV shows, public service announcements, news broadcasts. Just cre be creative in this um, task and show your knowledge. Let's go.